Have you ever wondered why Mr. Jensen likes math so much? Have you ever wondered why math is so awesome? Have you ever wondered why it can be so easy, but yet so hard at some time? Today, we're going to be looking at a mystery. And the mystery today that we're going to be looking at is the order of operations. And we're going to start off with five minus two times two. All right. Here is our mystery for today. Our mystery is... Why is the answer to this one and not six? So that's our mystery that we're going to be looking at today. And Gemma is going to be here to help us with this. Okay. The reason why this is so mysterious is because you might not know what the order of operations is. Are. The order of operations, think about the order of the grades that you go in. You start off in pre-K, little tiny pre-K years, and then you go to kindergarten, and then you go to first, and so on, and now you are in fifth grade. Now, that's the correct order. You wouldn't start off trying to do all the fifth grade stuff. You wouldn't try to start off with learning about order of operations and then go back and learn how to count to 10. No, there's a certain order that you need to do things in, and that's what Gemma is going to help us do this year. Okay. So the order of operations, there's a hierarchy. That means there's things that are more important to do first than last. Okay. So the first thing that you are going to do is when you have order of operations is you're going to look for things that are grouped together. That's what the G stands for grouping. Okay. Now in math, yes, these numbers are grouped together, but in math we use something to group numbers together. And the thing that we use to group are things known as parentheses, okay? Now, you've probably seen those before when you're reading an article or something, but they are also in math. So parentheses is grouping. There's also things with brackets and braces, but in fifth grade, mostly our grouping is gonna be coming within a parentheses, okay? That's the highest. So if you see anything that's grouped together with parentheses, you will do that operation first, whatever the operation be, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. You do what's inside of the group, inside of the parentheses. The next is the E. What do you think the E might stand for? All right. The E stands for exponent. And we've seen exponents this year like this, 10 to the second power, the 2 is the exponents. We won't see tons of exponents this year, but we still need to know the correct order to do them in. So first, is if you see anything that is in parentheses, if it's grouped, then you do that first. If there's not any parentheses or you have already done the parentheses, you now go to anything that has an exponent. Okay. Again, we won't see tons of that. The M stands for multiplicative. Now, multiplicative doesn't just mean multiplication. It means multiplication or division. Multiplication or division. And the reason that we say or division is because look at this. This is what's so amazing about math. Okay, Look at this problem. 6 times 2 equals 12. I can use these same numbers but I can use division. I can do 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So those are on the same level, okay? So first, again, grouping. Group is what is the most powerful, okay? That's what you're going to do first if anything is in parentheses. Then you have exponents. If you don't have any exponents or you've already done it, then you move to the multiplicative operation, and that is multiplication or division. Or I could say division or multiplication. That's what comes next. And then the lowest of them all, the lowest on the pole, the totem pole, is additive. Additive means adding or subtracting. And again, this is amazing. This is one of math's awesome mysteries, is that you can do six 
plus 2, which equals 8. But then you can also do 8 minus 6 to give you 2. So, Gemma is what we're going to be using this year to help us remember all of our steps of what we should be doing. So, again, groups. If it's in parentheses, we got to do it first. Super important. Remember, groups are stronger together. That's why we group them together. Okay? Then we have exponents. We won't see too many of them, but remember, it's got the power up here. Then we have multiplicative operations, which is multiplying or dividing, or I could say dividing or multiplying. And remember, that's because 6 times 2 equals 12. And 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Think about last week. Last week when we did division, we checked it with multiplication. So they go together. They are lumped together. They are equal to each other. They are less than grouping. They are less than exponents, but they are the same. They have the same amount of balance. They are equal the same thing. And then at the very bottom, we have additive. Okay. And additive either means addition or subtraction. I know it says add, but it's addition or subtraction. And it's because they go together. Or I could say subtraction or addition. So this is what we're going to use this year to help us with our order of operations. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look back at our mystery of why this equals one instead of six. All right, so we have our Gemma set up, and I do this for every single problem, so I would suggest that you have this down while you're doing it. You don't want to do it now, but when you are doing these problems, setting up Gemma, okay? So remember, the G stands for grouping, and those are the parentheses. Well, if I take a look at this problem, we have 5 minus 2 times 2. There's no parentheses here. There's no grouping. So we're not going to worry about our G. So we're going to eliminate it. We're, not, we're done with grouping, okay? Next, we're going to go to exponents. Remember, that would be like 10 to the second power. I don't see 5 to the second or 2 to the second or 2 to the second. So we don't have any exponents here either. Now, we're going to go to multiplicative operations. And remember, that could either be multiplication or division. So if we take a look at here, I see multiplication. And remember, multiplication is higher than the additive operations. So we're going to multiply here first. So we're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we're going to bring our 5 and our operation down. So now we have 5 minus 4. So we've done our multiplicative. And now we're going to do our additive. Now, it's not adding because, remember, additive can be addition or subtraction. So now we are subtracting 5 minus 4. And that gives us one. So now we have solved our problem. We have simplified our answer because there was lots of stuff. And now there's only one single number, and it's the number one. All right. Now we have two problems up here. And before we go on, I want you to answer this question for me. How is this problem different than this one? Let me hear it. Come on. Type it in. How is this problem different than this one? If you said that it had parentheses, give yourself a pat on the back. Genius. If you said that it had something that was grouped together, again, genius because it is doing with our G. This one does not have grouping together. So we're going to take a look at how, oh, even though we have the same exact numbers, because we have this parentheses, it's going to look different. So we have our Gemma. We're going to do what we're going to do first. G, remember, grouping, parentheses. We have that in this one. So we're going to do 6 plus 2 first. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And then we're going to bring down our times 5. Now, in this problem over here, we don't have any grouping. There's no parentheses. So we're not going to use the grouping. We don't have exponents again. Now we go to multiplicative operations, which means multiplying or dividing. We have multiplying. So we're going to do 2 times 5, which is 10. And then we're going to bring 6 plus 10 down. So same exact numbers, but different order because we're following the order of operations, which I love because it goes in order for us. I love it. Okay. Next, I'm going to go back to our first one. I just got to finish it off. 8 times 5 is 40. 
and down here.